what's up you guys so for today's video i'm going to be showing you how to replace a outer door handle on a 2000 toyota sienna this should be the same for 99 to 2003 and all you're going to need for this is a 10 millimeter socket we can focus 10 millimeter socket a flathead screwdriver and a phillips screwdriver and obviously a replacement uh, outer door handle so you're going to start by taking off your door panel so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pry this off right here i'll show you how to do that in a second and then you're going to want to take out the screw right here and the screw right here now the door had this little plastic nub over it just pry it off with a flathead here it has a couple of clips right here right here right there and then it just pops in right here right here right there right here and then there's these two screws underneath so you're gonna want to take all those screws out Next thing is all around the bottom of the door, there are clips. So you're just gonna wanna take uh, your flathead screwdriver and kind of pop the clips all the way around. Okay, once you pump, pop all the clips, the door should be fairly loose. All right, you can take your flathead, go behind your door handle here on the inside okay so once you pop your door handle off you're gonna want to pull the back and if you hold your door handle pull slide right out keep in mind you got this little hook back there pull off this little plastic lever now your door should loosen <laughs> door you just slide up like so and it pops off you want to be very careful because on the back here door you're gonna have the connectors so if you slightly turn your door like so you should be able to see this connector down here set this off to the side okay so right on the back of your door panel you're gonna have this connector here which is your switch for your uh, power locks power windows and this connector here and then both connectors have a little section here you just kind of push it in right there you just push it down and it slides right out and right here on the back as well same thing with this one, it just pushes down like that and it pops right out. So now your outer door handle is right behind this plastic. So you're gonna have to pop some of this plastic off like so. All right, I'm getting you a better view. Now inside your door here, there's that bolt there, which is 10 millimeter. And there should be, oh, there's your lock over here on the back side. And then there's your door handle. And then right here on the side of your door, if you look in here, there's another 10 millimeter bolt there. So you're gonna wanna take those bolts out. Now, once you do that, you should be able to pull the door handle out. This one's off. So, I was able to finagle the flathead in here to pop that plastic clip off back here. And then you just gotta kinda wiggle the door handle out of the door there like so. 
Now on the back of the lock, there is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. You're gonna wanna loosen that out. Apparently mine was really broken. I went to go loosen this bolt out and the whole plastic broke here. So that's not so bad, I guess. I ended up disconnecting this plastic off of this little hook here to pull the lock off because I'm going to install the lock on the new door handle and then I'm going to put it back in there. So this is the new door handle. I popped the lock in here so it lines up nice and good. I'm going to put the bolt for the lock back in. Okay, so quick tip. I popped the lock off the old door handle. This is the new one. Before you put this bolt in here, the one, hold on. the bolt that holds your lock to the handle, right? Put this bolt in. You're going to have to back it out afterwards, but put it in. This way, you know, the hole is lined up on this side or else you're gonna have a pain in the ass putting the bolt back in after you reinstall the door handle. And then we're just gonna tighten this down here. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna take your door handle. You're gonna wanna try and reconnect this bottom clip. Might need some needle nose pliers to get it where you need it to go. We hook up the new one. You wanna put this piece this here first there's a little metal rod it was kind of hard to film because the door doesn't have much space there's a metal rod you'll see it when you pull the old one off that goes through this hole here you want to put it through the hole first I used a pair of uh, pliers just to grip it and squeeze into the hole and then make sure you reattach this little plastic uh, I guess we'll call it a little plastic clip there back onto it. So I popped the door panel back on. Um, it's obviously it's not screwed in yet, but what you want to do at this point after you re hook up, make sure your door works. Okay. Like it opens from the inside and then you want to check it from the outside. Make sure it works. Cheap made in China door handle. All right, cool. And the door shuts and it does not open, which is important. And then you can put your door handle, uh, door panel back together. I recommend starting with the handle here, sliding the cover over, and then putting this piece back on here. Obviously, put the screws back in. And then you pop this back down like so. Now, if you see right here, um, the bottom of mine's kind of bent out a little bit. There's holes in here. Oh, see, if you take a really small screw, like not a long one, a short one, and you could literally screw this in like this, or you could just glue it. If you get, um, like Gorilla Glue or some type of glue, you could just glue this piece back on if yours is bulging like mine's is right there. So when you're reinstalling your door handle here, you wanna keep in mind, there's this little lip here that has to go over this plastic piece. So you gotta be really careful when you put it back on, you wanna kinda slide it back, tilt it, slide it in, okay? So that's how you change the door handle, uh, outer door handle on a 2000 Toyota Sienna. This will be the same from 99 to 2003, maybe even 2004. But if there's any other videos you guys want to see, leave it down in the comment section down below because I enjoy doing these little videos and these door handles, if you get them on rockauto.com are only eight bucks a piece. Okay, don't buy them brand new from the parts store. They wanted $70 for one of these, and it wasn't even paint matched. So, Rock Auto, you get black door handles for 
nine bucks, eight bucks, uh, plus shipping. Still cheaper than buying one of these. I bought both. I bought one for that side and for the passenger side for my van. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Also, down in the description box is all of my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. See you guys in the next video. Good vibes, good cruising.